Okay, the recording has begun. Good evening to the inimitable open mic translators night. Um, for the first time via, via Zoom from all of our windows um, on the planet, mostly in the Beltway area, but, but way beyond as well, I think. Um, we're going to be hearing from many different languages tonight and translators really excited on behalf of uh, the District of Columbia Association of Literary Translators, the UC Alt, of which I'm uh, one of the uh, board members and, um, and on behalf of uh, Montgomery College and uh, who's kindly uh, hosting this uh, now virtual event, um, welcome. Um, each poet, each translator will read for three minutes. Please keep that, uh, your watch, your stop watches handy because uh, I'd hate to come in in my garbled French and, and, and stop you at, at three minutes and 10 seconds or something. So try to keep that uh, in mind and uh, feel free to read the original language as well as the translation or as you wish, or just the translation. Uh, I'm going to begin, I'm, I, I, I'm going to read a bit later because I'm not prepared. So I would like to invite the wonderful um, Alejandra Franks, uh, who's going to read her translations from Spanish. Adelante Alejandra y bienvenido. Alejandra, are you with us? Unmute. She's muted. She has to unclick un 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 her mute there. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Alejandra. Thank you. I'm going to read in Spanish first and then uh, my translation into English. This is an original. Can you hear me well? Yes, of course. Yeah. Good. It's titled Confesiones de un Padre a su Hija. Querida hija, te pido que me perdones si no me he convertido en la mejor versión de mí. Te aseguro, adorada hija, que siempre he intentado que no te inunde ningún sentimiento de abandono o desespero. ¿Acaso en mis maneras desmañadas no te he mostrado cómo un campo vacío se llenó de girasoles el día en que naciste? ¿Acaso no te he mostrado cómo de la manera más virtuosa buscan el sol, incluso después de la noche más oscura. No ha sido el mejor el rol a seguir, tal vez, pero he intentado vehementemente que no sientas la falta de ternura ni el arrepentimiento. Así que, por favor, perdóname. Deja que te muestre el campo de girasoles, de manera que puedas ser testigo, amor mío, de cómo esos ojos color negro azabache apuntan a la estrella más grande de la galaxia. The English translation now. Confessions from parent to child. My dear child, please forgive me for I have not been the best version of myself. Rest assured, my child, I have tried to spare you from such feelings of abandonment and despair. Have I failed in my skillful ways, perhaps, to show you how empty fields filled with sunflowers the day you were born? Have I not shown you, perhaps, how they always search for the sun virtuously, even after the darkest night? I may have not been the best role model, but I've tried vehemently for you not to feel lack of tenderness or regret. So please forgive me, my child. Let me take you to the sunflower fields then you, my love, can witness the darkest black eyes looking straight up into the biggest star in the galaxy. Thank you. Thank I'm only you. waiting one. Thank you very, very much. Muchísimas gracias, Alejandra. Un gusto escucharte de nuevo. And um, I would like to now uh, introduce Danuta Kosk, Kosika, who will read from Polish and her translations. Go ahead. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm happy to be here with you. The first poem is by Grzegorz Białkowski. He was a Polish poet and uh, physicist, quite famous. 
I'm in the process of translating his book. I start with the Polish original, which consists of seven words. Przewodnik. Błyskawica prowadzi świat z ciemności w ciemność. A guide. Lightning leads the world from darkness into darkness. And the second poem is by Lydia Kosk. She is a poet, writer, and a lawyer, and I've translated four of her books. This time I start with the English translation and then follow with the Polish, so you are left with the sound of the language. A chance to live, I need, like air, human kindness, space, color, and fragrance of the world. I run away from jarring noise, mustiness, damaging anger. As long as there is a place for my return, I have a chance. Szansa. Do życia jak powietrze potrzebna mi międzyludzka życzliwość. Przestrzeń, barwy i zapachy świata. Muszę uciekać przed zgiełkiem z tęchlizną niszczącą złością. Dopóki jest dokąd wracać, istnieje szansa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful. And now um, from Danita, from Poland, we'll, we'll stay in Europe. This time we'll go over um, west to Italy and uh, hear from Elena Mangiona Lori. Elena, go ahead. What a treat to hear all of these beautiful uh, recitations. Uh, this, I'm just going to read the Italian because otherwise I'd go over the three minutes and there were many reminders that we had to stay within the three. This is called uh, 50 years of, of married, 50 anni di matrimonio, qual è il segreto? Qual è il segreto di un, di un, matrim di un amore così? Il cielo lo sa, di una espansione infinita di comprensione, polverata di punti di luce, per quando l'oscurità diventi straziante e piena di nuovi mondi da scoprire, più ci si avvicina. Qual è il segreto di un amore così? Il mare lo sa, sotto la calma di un sorriso e le onde, e le onde tempestose, c'è vita, c'è sempre vita. Qual è il segreto di un amore così? Il bosco lo sa? Rumoroso santuario dove i rami si incrociano in un caos rasserenante, dove due amanti hanno scritto i loro nomi sul tronco per conservare una promessa pubblicamente, ma non troppo. Qual è il segreto di un amore così? Jesus Christ. I fiori lo sanno. D'origine fratturate, apparentemente fermi nella loro bellezza crescente, Si dispiegano senza fretta i petali, silenzio intrecciato fra gli, se, gli steli, e si aprono alle infinite possibilità, senza difese, senza paure, e offrono generosamente il loro splendore. Thank you. But Elena, I'm going to ask you to read the translation please, uh, and, and because I think we would love to hear how you translate it into English. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you know, um, if you don't mind, I will uh, perhaps put it in the chat because I have to find it. Oh, okay. We can, I can come back to you later if you like. Okay, but we'd love to hear you actually read it out loud. So. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So we'll come back to you. Um, Elena, and now I'd like to invite um, from the Spanish language and, uh, and also the English, if you're willing, Sandra Meli. Go ahead, Sandra. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. Good Hello. to be here. 
This is, I believe, our sixth annual and our first virtual, and I hope our last virtual. Um, anyway, good to see everybody. I'm going to read a poem from Jorge Luis Borges, and I apologize to the natives for my Spanish. I'm a little rusty. I'll start with that. It's a sonnet. No sé cuál es la cara que me mira cuando miro la cara del espejo. No sé qué anciano acecha en su reflejo con silenciosa y ya cansada era. Lento en mi sombra, con la mano exploro mis invisibles rasgos. Un destello me alcanza. He vislumbrado tu cambello. ¿Qué es de ceniza o es aún de oro? Repito que he perdido solamente la vana superficie de las cosas. El consuelo es de Milton y es valiente. Pero pienso en las letras y en las rosas. Pienso que si pudiera ver mi cara, sabría quién soy en esta tarde rara. In the English. A blind man. I do not know face looks back at me when I look at the face in the mirror. I do not know what old man spies on his reflection with a silent and weary anger. Slowly, in my darkness, I explore the unseen features with my hand, and a glimmering breaks through. I caught a glimpse of your hair, which is ashen or perhaps still golden. I repeat that I have lost only the meaningless surface of things. This consolation is from Milton and is bold. Yet I think that if I could see my face this strange evening, I would know who I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. And now um, we're going to travel, uh, we're going to leap over out of Europe into the uh, computing power. Uh, my apologies if I'm getting political here. We're going to hear from uh, the translations from I believe Mandarin, Chinese from Anne Henekowitz, my colleague at DC Alt. Go ahead, Anne. Oh, uh, thank you. I thought I was coming at the very end, so. Um, oh my. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's all it's quite oh, all right. Okay. I'm a little bit unpracticed, but if I have time, so I want to read two poems by Yu Xiu Hua. Um, I'll read the first that was my own translation. Um, about Li Wenliang, who was one of the um, doctors in Wuhan who sounded the alarm about what we now know as COVID-19 and um, was reprimanded by the uh, police and called a rumor monger on national television and then eventually like became a hero and then martyr. So um, I will read the Chinese and then the English. Um, and by martyr, I mean he died of COVID um, in the very early days, February 7th of last year. Dao Li Wenliang. Jie Anxi. Meo bi yi yan huo zui geng li hai de bing du. Meo bi hei bai bu fen geng tu lou de ren jian. Jie Anxi. Chang jiang de shui zai zhou ye fu zhou. Huanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuanghuangh
Now rest. Now let me live my shameful life and let me sing my angry dirge. We are not afraid to die. We are afraid to die before our time. You died and my time died before its time. If there are viruses in heaven, if you speak up again, then where will you go? I hope wherever they take you in, there are still people who speak Chinese. Um, if I might, I will just read the English. I wanted to end on a different note um, and read one more poem by Yu Xiuhua. Uh, this was translated by Ming Di in uh, World Literature Today. The title is Crossing Half of China to Sleep with You. To sleep with you or to be slept? What's the difference if there's any? Two bodies collide, the force, the flower pushed open by the force, the virtual spring in the flowering. Ugh. And more than this, and this we mistake as life restarting. In half of China, things are happening. Volcanoes erupting, rivers running dry, political prisoners and displaced workers abandoned, elk deer and red crowned cranes shot. I cross the hail of bullets to sleep with you. I press many nights into one morning to sleep with you. I run across many of me and many of me run into one to sleep with you. Yet I can be misled by butterflies, of course, and mistake praise as spring, a village like Hung Dian is home. But all these, all of these are absolutely indispensable reasons that I sleep with you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Anne, wonderful. And, uh, and thank you for the tribute to, to the doctor who passed away early in this, in this pandemic. Um, and now I would like to stay in, in the neighborhood where you're reading from, um, going over to the allied nation of Japan to Karen Alenia. Karen, go ahead. Thank you, Indran, and thank you, Barbara, for inviting me. Um, this is very short, and uh, it's a uh, haiku that was translated by uh, Ken Keith into Japanese. I'll give you the original, which is mine in English. Evening air. Notes of the koto blossom whispered messages sent kissing the ear koto no oto sakitaru renga mimi nikaya thank you thank you so much um and you know uh as we all know in japan there you can read poems on the front pages of the newspapers and here. So, uh, good. And now let's move on to um, to the uh, nation of Argentina, uh, South America, and to our wonderful nation, right? writer and friend, Sergio Weissman. Mm -hmm. Sergio, go ahead. And somebody, please, can you mute yourselves wherever you are? Make sure that you're muted, uh, because we're here and getting some interference from from one of these windows. Thank you. Go ahead, Sergio. Um, Sergio? I think Sergio is not here. Uh, sorry, my apologies. Thanks, Keith. Um, then we will move on um, to um, the language is Farsi, the country Iran, and the translator, a friend Farah Arjang. Farah, go ahead. Farah? Hello, yes. Okay. Hello, I am reading a poem that um, 
because of the three minutes, I had to shorten it a lot. So if it is missing some parts that you notice, I apologize in advance. The name of the poem is Scientist's Wedding Reception. Well, I translated it from... Um, I translated it from uh, the social media because it was widely published in the social media. And also I need to explain the word pride that I have used in this uh, poem. It's the name of a car, believe it or not, in Iran. It's really named, it's called pride. And um, it's the worst car that if you can imagine, but the name is pride. So I'm just, I have to give you a little background information. Here's the poem. Scientists have celebrated a wedding. The rover landed on Mars safe and sound. Scientists are jumping up and down. They laugh and they cry. When the rover lands, my heart beats fast. I worry if it lands nose down or if something goes wrong. What if it rolls over? Or perhaps the parachutes don't open. By the way, does Mars have air to ease the opening of the parachutes? Yeah, yeah, it does. I saw the dust when the rover landed. Scientists have celebrated as if they are in a wedding. I saw the mix of scientists, the woman with the Hindi mole as if she was from the same town that I came from. I saw the black man among them, the Japanese, Chinese, American, European. They were all working together. Many of them shed tears of joy when the rover landed. I love these tears and miss laughter from the bottom of my heart. I am, however, in Tehran and just getting the news of Mars. Mars. I keep reading the news. A senior manager at the Central Bank of Iran is arrested because of granting low exchange rate to his friend. Deputy manager of Arvan Free Trade Zone is arrested. Tehran's deputy mayor as well, and blah, blah, blah. Tehran's governor says every month, just in Tehran, a thousand prides are stolen. Don't take me wrong, not a thousand cars, but a thousand prides. The scientists have celebrated just like a wedding ceremony. I would like to attend the scientists' wedding ceremony. Over there, no one asks if I am a Shia or Sunni. No one asks if I am Iranian or Ar American. Over there, all have but one goal, and they will die to reach their goals if need be. No one questions them if their hijab is not in place. No one asks them how they think, what they eat, why they eat, and where they go. I would like to attend the scientist's wedding ceremony. I don't want to hear bad news all the time. I would like to jump up and down when the rover lands on Mars. And I would like to long for pictures coming down from Mars to Earth. I don't want to hear on foes day and night and all it goes. I would like to laugh so deep that I cannot stop to weep. weep I'm sorry. Then invite the God as well, so he comes down on the earth, he will see it right in there. He will laugh and then rejoice. I would like to go and attend the scientist's wedding ceremony. Thank you. Thank you. The scientist's wedding ceremony. Thank you very, very much. For, uh, I'm Thank going you. to... Um, to invite now um, colleague and friend, uh, colleague in DC, or uh, colleague, uh, friend, and writer, Wendy McBurney, who will um, um, read now from translations from Spanish. Um, go ahead, Wendy, are you unmuted? Hello, everyone. 
Good evening to everyone. And it's a pleasure to be with you all, to join you all and to share in this um, literary experience, poetic experience. So the first one I have for you today is called Black Lives Matter. And it sort of reflects a public voice, a public re reaction. So here we go. Black Lives Matter. Las vidas negras importan. Justicia. Tu lengua es la solidaridad. Efectivamente gritamos por los mismos derechos. Libertad. Con una voz, un grito, una lema. De todos los rincones del mundo. Por todas las lenguas y culturas. Gritamos con una voz por justicia, igualdad y libertad. Black Lives Matter. Las vidas negras importan. So esto fue como mi rea reacción. That was my reaction to, you know, what we experienced over the summer. So um, I, I don't think I need to, to um, translate. No? See? Okay, so it says Black Lives Matter, um, in Espanol, Black Lives Matter, justice. Your language is solidarity. Effectively, gritamos, we, we shout, for the same rights, liberty. With one voice, one shout, one slogan. From all the corners of the world in all the languages and cultures. We shout with one voice for justice, equality, and freedom. Black Lives Matter. Last week, see, Black Lives Matter again. <laughs> so that's my um, reaction, poetic reaction to what took place. And here I have another one, which is more personal. Okay, it's called Sentimientos Por Ti. And it's sort of una canción sentimental, emocional para mí. Okay, so sentimientos profundos, intensos, apasionados. Tal vez nunca van a ver la luz del día. Tal vez nunca deberían de ver la luz del día. Sin embargo, son míos, los acepto, los cuido y los protejo. Sentimientos míos, profundos, intensos, apasionados por ti. Tal vez no estás consciente de ellos, no los percibes, no te evocan en ti nunca o ninguna reacción. Pero para mí son reales, profundos, perdurables y significativos mis sentimientos. Okay, so that's my personal expression. Okay, and it's just, it means the, the translation in, in English would be, okay, feelings, deep, intense, passionate. Perhaps never, they are never going to see the light of day. Perhaps they, they don't need to see the light of day. Nevertheless, nevertheless, they are mine. I accept them. I take care of them. I protect them. My feelings, strong, intense, passionate for you. Perhaps you're not conscious of them. You can't perceive them. They don't evoke any reaction in you. But for me, they are real deep, strong, significant, my feelings. Thank you very much, Wendy. You're welcome, you're welcome. Good to hear you. Um, we're going to now hear from Elena Mangione Lori uh, read her English translation. Uh, and then after Elena, we will go on to uh, hear from uh, Barbara Goldberg. Elena, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, the translation is 50 years of marriage. What's the secret? What is the secret of such love? 
the heavens know, an endless expansion of understanding and dusting of points of light for when the darkness becomes heartbreaking and full of worlds to discover the closer you get. But is the secret of such love the oceans know? Under the calm of a smile or stormy waves, there is life, there is always life. What is the secret of such love? The forest knows, noisy sanctuary where branches crisscross and reassuring chaos, where lovers write their names on the side of a tree to keep a promise publicly, but not too much. What is the secret of a love like that? The flowers know, from fractured origins, apparently still in their growing beauty, they unfold the petals unhurriedly silence woven between their stems. They open themselves up to endless possibilities and defenseless without fears, they generously offer their splendor to each other. Thank you, thank you so much. And, uh, and now we will hear um, from my friend and colleague uh, and poet and translator, Barbara Goldberg, who will read from, uh, well, she could read from various languages, but I think she's reading from Spanish. Go ahead, Barbara. You're muted, Barbara. Barbara, can you unmute? How's that? Yes, now we can hear Good. you. Go ahead. Okay. So I haven't read from French in a long time. And, uh, and this is one by Rilke, Maria Remarque Rilke. And you may not know that he had 500 French poems and prose poems towards the end of his life when he was living in Switzerland. So his best known poetry, of course, is in German. So this is a prose poem, very short. And it's called Comment fais-tu? Comment fais-tu, Beaumelon? d'être si frais à l'intérieur, après avoir eu tout ce soleil pour mûrir. Cela me rappelle la menthe délicieuse qui avait des lèvres de source, même au plus fort de l'été de l'amour. I'm liking that the poems this evening are about politics and love. So here is the translation. How do you do it, beautiful melon? to be so cool inside after drinking all that sun to get ripe. This reminds me of a passionate lover whose lips tasted of spring water even during the height of summer sun. Thank you. Thank you so much, Barbara. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> yeah. And now, I, you know, we have some very special uh, and surprise guests in the audience who are joining us from different parts of the world and from different parts of the translation world. And, and one of them is, is really a very, very special to all of us. He's a, a founder of the uh, ALTA, the Association of Literary Translators. Uh, he's, an in, he's an incredibly energetic and ever youthful uh, poet, translator, well, translator, writer, He's become a writer of short stories in the recent period. And uh, if uh, his name is Alexis Levitin. And um, I first learned about Alexis and met him in the late 1980s when I met him with uh, Eugenio de Andrade, the great poet from Portugal. And, uh, and so Alexis, although you were not planned to read, I would love to invite you to share a, poem, a translation or two with us if you'd like. Thank you. Before I begin, I'd like to say that Barbara Goldberg and I went to junior high school and high school together, and we studied French when we were prepubescent with the same teachers. So this is just a happenstance, but amusing enough to mention. Listen, I'm going to read one poem. Uh, it's a kind of a love poem, but it's the love poem to his mother. It's by Salgado Maranhão, great Afro-Brazilian poet. Uh, he and I have published five books together in the United States. Uh, the most recent one I received five hours ago. Um, uh, 
cons consecration of the wolves, Sagrason dos Lobos. But I want to read from his first book in America, which was published by uh, Milkweed, uh, Blood of the Sun. So this poem is called Mater, the Latin for mother. Part one. I will read it in English and then in Portuguese. Of you, there's not even a family album. Photos of childhood in fields of rice and sesame. Maybe in my thoughts there linger fragments of your voice in the wind, like fingerprints on a river. Part two. On the day the blue stole your eyes and silence tore apart your name, Skylarks started singing in my tracks on the day the morning closed your eyes. Three, without you, I am the blossom on the tree bereft. Now the sea beats against my rocks and the night prowls at my heels. De ti não há sequer um álbum de família, retratos de infância nos campos de arroz e jejelim. Talvez reste em pensamento pedaços de tua voz no vento, como impressões digitais no rio. Dois. No dia em que o azul roubou teus olhos, e o silêncio rival rasgou teu nome, cultavias cantaram no meu rastro. No dia em que amanhã serão teus olhos. Três. Sem ti sou a flor da árvore desolada. Agora o mar bate em minhas rochas. E a noite ronda meus calcanhares. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Alexis. Muito Thank obrigado. You. Muito Thank obrigado. you for allowing an intruder to penetrate <laughs> amidst you. Without intruders, we would not have literature, you know. Um, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled that we have with us uh, uh, so many wonderful poets and translators and, uh, and I know some have other uh, obligations, but you know, thank you for joining us for the time you have. So before you have to leave, I just want to say hello to Nancy Naomi Carlson and to and to Keith Cohen, two uh, excellent translators and writers who I work with at DC Alt. Um, welcome. And uh, I'm trying to get, uh, let's see. I think we will go back now to the, uh, to the order, uh, now that the intruder has left us. Um, we can go to, um, to Tina Dobb who will read to us from her translations from Spanish. Go ahead, Tina. Thank you, it's lovely to be here. Good evening, Welcome. everyone. I'm going to read uh, a translation I did of the Bolivian poet Blanca Vitushta. She was the preeminent female poet of the 20th century in, in Bolivia. Siembra. Hay tanto silencio en la piel y solo nos cubren las manos. Entra el frío hasta el vientre como un río buscando. Hay que descubrir caminos, desandar palabras graves, pensar que morir es hacer milagros, que el debajo y la tierra nos pertenecen. Hay que nacer de adentro como mineral, Partir la luna en dos, repartir los días de lluvia, caminar hasta el fondo, como el árbol, como la hierba, caer hasta los ojos, donde nos guarda constante la muerte. Sewing, and that's with an O, sewing. There is so much silence in skin and only the hands to cover us. Cold enters as far as the womb, a river watching. One must discover ways to retrace grave words, to think dying makes miracles, 
that the earth and below belong to us. It must be born within like ore to split the moon in two, to share the days of rain, to walk into depth like a tree, like grass falling to the eyes where death guards us constantly. Lovely. Very, very good. Thank you. Tina, wonderful translation. Uh, are you? Yeah, I think we, because of that. I'll go, um, we'll stop there and go on now. I, I, there is a mention in the chat, if it's possible to sh have the poems people are reading from in some kind of a Google Doc to share and read later if I don't know who might take that on but if you feel inspired to um, to share the text you've been reading from uh, even prepare a Google Doc and you can start a, a collective one and and share it by email later um, let, let, let me know or let us know um, we're going to hear now um, Iran is well uh, represented tonight. We have two translators working in from Farsi. We're going to hear now from QR Quezar, David, also known as David Martin. And Quezar, go ahead. Okay, folks, can you hear me? Yep. Okay, good. Thanks to Indra and then Barbara and everyone else who put this together. I'm gonna to read a poem by Molana Rumi from 1273. Uh, I'm just going to read three uh, couplets. It's a ghazal. I'm going to read three couplets in Persian because of because of the time constraints. But let me say a couple of things about the poem because it's really significant. Uh, this is a deathbed poem, uh, by uh, commonly understood by uh, those who who follow Rumi. Um, so imagine a death watch here. Uh, so this is his last poem, and. Um, it shows what the results of enlightenment really look like. Um, and it gets, goes against the fantasy that once, in, once, once a person is enlightened, everything is hunky-dory. As uh, John Cage uh, quoted a Zen master saying, now that I've been enlightened, I'm just as miserable as ever. Okay? So, uh, and all, the second thing is the, the extreme technical mastery here. I don't know how this was actually taken down. Normally he had people write this down. He would just say it. He didn't write his poems himself. He would say them and then someone would write them down. I don't, I don't know how this happened, but anyway, it came to us. So um, the, 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 the rhyme is A, Aleph. The, uh, the radif or the after rhyme is Kun. Um, here we go. I'll, I'll read three three couplets. Ro sar bene bebaolin tanha mara raha kun tarke mane khrabe shab garade mob talakun. Skipping to seven. Dardi skere mordan on ra dva naba shat. Pas man chegune guyam kin dad ra dva kun. در خواب دوش پیری در کوی عشق دیدم با دست اشواتم کرد که از سوی ما کن okay and there are wonderful lines like that but time time doesn't permit so let's go to the translation the translation was published in 1983 in comitatus molana jalaluddin rumi Lay your head back on the pillow. Go forget about me. Just leave me be. Leave me to my night watchman's addiction, to love's drunken, drunken affliction. Leave me. We're nothing but an undulation of black passion alone all night swam, swamped in the surging. Yours is the choice. If you want to come, love me, grace me, save me, or if not burn and spurn me. Run, just get away from me as fast as you can. Unless you too want to fall in harm's way, take the safe way out, leave, fang, land, be. 
where nothing but eye water cried out, crept tear, quivering, shivering, to lie low in some sad corner. From spots where our teardrops splash, construct and harness the hydrodynamics of a hundred water mills. With that flinty heart, it just oppresses us. If it kills anyone, it doesn't say apply the penalty for homicide. The beautiful people don't have to be true to the powers that be. But now as for you, you pale faced lover, wait a bit, keep faith, string yourself out a little further, be true to the true. There is a pain having no cure but death. How then can I ask you to cure this pain? I dreamt last night I saw an old man lounging around love's part of town. He was making signs with his hand to me to follow him down. If there's a dragon on the road, it's love like an emerald. Beware that emeralds dazzling, repel the dragon. Enough, enough of these black sodded words. I'm beyond myself now. Is your art hot? I'm not. Speak to me, Abu Ali Sina. Draw on the sense of the most high. Thank you, folks. Rumi, 1273. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, uh, we have just uh, uh, four more readers um, and uh, I think that includes me as well. Um, I'm going to invite next um, Deborah Wasatsuk who will read to us from Italian and then I'll put myself in after her uh, and I'll read a poem from Portuguese. Deborah, go ahead. Hi everybody, I'm really enjoying this evening. Um, I'm going to read three poems by Marzia Vianello who lives in Venice and very short poems. Quanto mi piace la pioggia di fine agosto la notte, l'aria ovattata e profonda, tre giorni prima che arrivi settembre col suo grido appena udibile e la mia voglia d'essere mancante. Lo sai, ci sono parole stupende a volte negli occhi, basta qualche frase, un accostamento, un esterno, uno spazio breve, null'altro. How I love the rain at August's end, at night, the air swaddled and deep, three days before September arrives with its barely audible cry, and my desire to be absent. Did you know? In the eyes, at times, are splendid words, just a phrase or two, a combination, an exterior, a brief space, nothing else. The next poem is titled with geographic coordinates. So we are listening to 52.5569 degrees north. 106.0744 degrees east. E lieve questa nota che avverto né cantata né suonata, fiorita appena percettibile, invisibile agli occhi la fougère, la foresta di felci ai bordi di Buguldeca è l'unica che io conosca a essere silenziosa. It's soft, this note I notice, neither sung nor played, blooming, barely detectable, invisible to the eye, the fern. The forest at the edge of Buguldeka is the only one, as far as I'm aware, that is silent. And this is the last poem. Facciamo così. Lasciamo a terra l'intelligere, l'orizzonte verticale, le voci assonnate, le parole inalate. Lasciamo a terra il dentro, il fuori, le voci distanti, i timori, l'invisibile che ondeggia. 
Lasciamo a terra il settembre un po' volage, l'agosto da esploratori, le maniche arrotolate. Strangers, not estranged. Appena cala la notte, ti porto in cielo a inchiodar le stelle. Let's do this. Leave meaning on the ground. The vertical horizon, drowsy voices, inhaled speech. Let's leave inside and out on the ground, the far off voices, apprehensions, the wavering invisible. Let's leave slightly fickle September down there and the August of explorers, sleeves turned back, strangers, not estranged. As soon as night falls, I take you to the sky to fasten stars. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent work, Deborah. Congratulations. Um, I'm going to read now a poem uh, I've translated recently from the Portuguese of uh, Joao. Uh, it's, um, maybe it's, it's a poem by Joan, uh, Joan Neto. And um, uh, the poem is called Tempo da Poesia. So I'll read it in the Portuguese and uh, please forgive my accent and then I'll read the translation. Tempo da poesia. Tempo da invisiveis ameaças. Tempo da susto. Tempo da medo espalhando-se como sangue putrefato pelas veias dos homens e do mundo. Tempo da mentiras insidiosas. Tempo da odios velhos, novos, fabricados por pobres almas binarias e infelices, tempo de oportunismos, tempo de rancorosas conspirações, tempo de delirios inesperados e contudo permitidos pelos homens empanturados e anestesiados pela ilusoria bonanza do tempo, tempo de luta contra a ignorância contumaz, transformada em bandeira, tempo de coragem, tempo do sacrifício, tempo de generosidade, tempo de criação, tempo de poesia. Uh, time of poetry, time of invisible menaces, time of fright, Time of fear expanding like putrefied blood through the veins of men and the world. Time of insidious lies, time of hatred sold and new, made by poor souls, binary and unhappy. Time of opportunism, time of rancorous conspiracies, time of delirium unexpected and profound, permitted by men in the mud and anesthetized by the illusory goodness of time, time of mourning against obstinate ignorance transformed into a flag, time of courage, time of sacrifice, time of generosity, time of creation, time of poetry. Thank you. Obrigado. Um, Joan Nelo is going to read on April 17th in a wonderful reading to feature uh, a revolution dos cravos, the red carnation revolution, which took place in Portugal on April 25th, 1974. And on April 17th, 2021, we are organizing a reading with poets from Portuguese and Spanish and English and uh, celebrating that uh, momentous occasion when Portugal overthrew its dictatorship when the colonies in Africa became independent. And so you're all invited to that reading. I, there's information about it I, I can share with you and on Facebook. Um, and Onesimo Almeida was a professor of Portuguese at Brown will say a few words at the beginning of the reading to talk about what the revolution of the carnations means to all of us. And then we'll hear from poets, including this poet I just read. Though not that poem, um, you'll read from Angola. So there are poets reading from all over the world. And I'll 
go now to um, our next reader and translator. Uh, very excited to hear her work, Yvonne Bruno Botello. She will read from uh, translations from Spanish. Go ahead, Yvonne. Hi, everyone. First of all, let me clarify that I'm not literary translator, um, and I do not translate this poem that I want to share um, okay. with you. Um, but before I do that, I want to say that we at Montgomery College, we are really proud to be host of this event, and we are looking forward to your par participation at the conference tomorrow, if you are planning to attend to the Confluence Translation Conference. You still have time to register. The registration closed at 9 p.m. and you must be receive uh, you, uh, the link to be able to register for this conference that we have been working uh, along with DC Alt and NCATA uh, to uh, coordinate and to offer a very good um, translation conference tomorrow. Uh, so the poem that I would like to share is one that I uh, bring me memories from high school. And this is from uh, Pablo Neruda, who is a Chilean poet, poet uh, who also won the literary uh, prize. Um, it is part, uh, it is Poema 15, uh, Me Gustas Cuando Callas, poem 15, I like for you to be still. Uh, I will read this in Spanish first, and then I will try my best to do it in English. Uh, me gustas cuando callas porque estás como ausente y me oyes desde lejos y mi voz no te toca. Parece que los ojos se te hubieran volado y parece que un beso te cerrara la boca. Como todas las cosas están llenas de mi alma, emerges de las cosas llenas del alma mía. Mariposa de sueño, te pareces a mi alma y te pareces a la palabra melancolía. Me gustas cuando callas y estás como distante. Y estás como quejándote, mariposa, en arrullo. Y me oyes desde lejos y mi voz no te alcanza. Déjame que me calle con el silencio tuyo. Déjame que te hable también con tu silencio claro como una lámpara, siempre como un anillo. Eres como la noche callada y constelada. Tu silencio es de estrella tan lejano y sencillo. Me gustas cuando callas porque estás como ausente, distante y dolorosa como si hubieras muerto. Una palabra entonces, una sonrisa bastan y estoy alegre, alegre de que no sea cierto. Um, now in English, I like for you to be still. I like for you to be still. It is as though you were absent, and you hear me from far away, and my voice does not touch you. It seems as though your eyes have flown away. It seems that a kiss had sealed your mouth. As all, all things are filled with my soul, you emerge from the things filled with my soul. You are like my soul, a butterfly of dream, and you are like the word melancholy. I like for you to be still and you sing far away. It sounds as though you were lamenting, a butterfly cooing like a dove. And you hear me from far away and my voice does not reach you. Let me come to be still in your silence. And let me talk to you with your silence that is bright as a lamp, simple as a ring. You are like the night with the stillness and constellations. Your silence is that of a star, as remote and candy. I like for you to be still. It is as though you were absent, distant, and full of sorrow as though you had died. One word then, one smile is enough. And I am happy, happy that is not true. Thank you. 
Thank you. Muchas gracias, Ivonne. Wonderful reading and uh, beautiful to hear from the Megustas again <laughs> tonight on this very special evening. Yes, it, uh, I, I think we all would love to go back to presential readings, but, uh, but we are grateful that we have this technology and we are able to bring ourselves together to our window. I would like to now invite Robert Giron to read. Go ahead, Robert. Hello? I don't see Robert here on the, okay. on the, on the list of the attendees. Yeah. Okay, my apologies. I, he was, uh, he was, his name was given to me late. To, uh, there's one other, well then, uh, we will finish then the evening with, uh, with um, my apologies. Somebody is uh, trying to call me and my, my I have to, uh, Barbara, you get given me the name and I'm uh, looking for it now, one second. Singleton? Yes. My apologies. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to read um, by Vinicius de Moraes. For those who doesn't know him, um, he, he was one of the authors of the Girl from Ipanema song. A você, com muito amor. O amor é o murmúrio da terra quando as estrelas se apagam e os ventos da aurora vagam no nascimento do dia. O ridente abandono, a rútil alegria dos lábios da fonte e da onda que arremete o mar. O amor é a memória que o tempo não mata, a canção bem amada, feliz e absurda. E a música inaudível, o silêncio que treme e parece ocupar o coração de que freme quando a melodia do canto de um pássaro parece ficar. O amor é Deus em plenitude, a infinita medida das dávidas que vem com o sol e com a chuva, seja na montanha, seja na planura, a chuva que corre e o tesouro armazenado. Now in English. Love is the earth whisper after the stars fade and the winds of down blow the birth of the day. The sincere laugh the shiny joy of the lips, the sources and the wave that love is the memory that time cannot kill. The well of and absurd, it is the unheard music, the silence that shakes and seems to fill a shivering heart when the melody of the bird's song wants to remain within love is God in fullness. The infinite extent of the gifts that come with the sun and the rain, whether in the mountains, whether in the fields, it is the rain that falls and the treasure stored at the end of the rainbow. Sorry about my English, that's all. Wonderful, Lucille Singleton. Thank you. Muchas obrigado pelo poema, pela traducción. Thank you, everyone who read tonight, who shared your your heart speech, and um, and thank you to Montgomery College and and the confluence which uh, will be happening tomorrow. This is sort Indran. of a preamble to that. Uh, In, Indran, can you and, ask can you ask people to tell us where they are? I find it exciting. To Alex, think. Uh, uh, yes, I will. Let, let me finish my, my prepared speech and then I'll be happy to. Um, <laughs> I was in the middle of, a, of a, uh, just mentioning the conference tomorrow, Confluence, which is taking place uh, uh, from nine to four. Uh, feel free to, to sign up for it tonight before the, the registration closes. It's free of charge. And there's some very good panels um, 
uh, which you can participate tomorrow. Alexis, thank you. Wait, wait, uh, wait a second. Intern, there's a link in the chat to right. register for the conference. There's a link in the chat. I, I, there's a link in the chat for the conference. As I also put in a link for the, the revolution, the red carnation yes, reading. So feel free to, to click on both of those. And um, Alexis, thank you. Uh, Alexis, uh, you were saying, uh, can everyone tell us where they're reading from? Please go ahead. Let's have a few minutes. I'm going, the, the recording is still taking place. I can stop the recording now officially and then we can have a chat. Shall I do that? Everyone agreed? Okay, so the, the recording will now stop.